here's that there electric spinning wheel that I done already been pondering on and I pretty much got her done except for the electrical box to affix to it and then the cosmetic Y'all see there that we've got it brazed up. All of it's brazed up. It's pretty decent in balance. Half inch center. Five sixteenths outriggers. But I think it's going to work really, really, really good. We're going, we're going to carry on with this project. A little close up on that. You can see I put that JB weld on yonder. It's just a good grade of epoxy. Uh, and to, I, I did make a fillet around there. This has already got it's hard and I will sand it down before I paint it But I just took my finger there and made a fillet around through there uh, This one down. Yeah, that's just got a two-part epoxy on it. It works just as well I did go ahead and put a gusset. These are five sixteenths outriggers. It's a half inch uh, solid shaft that I drilled the I drilled the hole in the end yonder and then an intersection hole right in there for the yarn to come out of. It's plenty big. It's uh, uh, 3 8 in yonder. Uh, you don't need none no bigger than that. And I did I did go ahead and put a, that's a piece of pipe right there. And I put a bushing up in yonder. Uh, epoxied it in there and then uh, filed it off even on both sides. This one here does have a, that was a flange bushing. And it, it fits right on there. Brazed everything together on this particular one. Uh, bolted and brazed and this end part down here now now this this piece here you remove that in order to remove the bobbin uh, and I'm going to put it on a wood base I'm going to have to, I'm going to cut away some material here and round off all of the edges I, it, this is just where we at now and as you can see I brazed this upright these two wing nuts removes this up right here so you get to facilitate to remove the bobbin I have installed the clutch braking mechanism for the bobbin I did go ahead and elect to run it on the outer diameter the spring mechanism uh, I just chose to put an eye bolt with a spring and if you going to go in the opposite direction then you just reverse this mechanism it come, follow it on down and it does have a uh, eye bolt I will put a wing nut on this outer part where you can adjust that to and fro as you can see this is uh, it's uh, brazed construction this upright on this end is fixed it's not removable uh, four spoke uh, aluminum uh, pulley four inches and the pulley on the motor is uh, one inch, three quarters on the inside diameter. DC 24 volts. I mounted it in a outrigger configuration, and I will uh, have two slotted holes, one here and one here, and and this will be able to move inward and outward uh, to put tension on your belt. The yarn comes through this drilled hole, comes around. To the outrigger this eye bolt and follows down and I elected to use a sliding this will have a rubber band on it well it works really good the bobbin is just the built-up construction it does have a aluminum center uh, fillets on each side epoxied I did uh, go ahead and put a Teflon bushing inside the aluminum I, yeah, I may have to change that because it's just too, it's too slick. And as you can see, I did go ahead and, and add a gusset on the outriggers. I don't think they needed them, but it, it, it gave me a place to mount the eye bolt for this. It's quartering by two inch uh, steel plate. Well, this is where we at now. This is the electrical system as up to where I am today. And what I have is a transformer, 115 volts down to 
24 volts. Actually, the standing voltage on the output on this rectifier that I saved out of a piece of some kind of medical equipment, uh, these printed circuit boards that's got the debridge rectifier, all you do is cut all this stuff off that you don't need there, and you got a perfectly good little high-quality bridge rectifier. In my case, I'm a putting 115 volts in the transformer. I'm a getting 24 and a half volts output. This is a 24 volt motor. I took my electric drill apart to see how that little trigger mechanism works in there. I'm going to have to have that spinning wheel I'm a building. I got to have the power unit for it. I've got the. I'm going to show. I'm going to go ahead right now and uh, I'm going to show you. Look at this. See it running out of way. Now watch this goes the other way. What it is, I got a reversing switch right here in that bridge rectifier and my output on this is 29 and a half volts on the standing if I checked it now. I've done already started putting stuff up. Yeah, just to update real quick, but it's 26.5 volts when the motor is running. So it's ample enough. I've got it all hooked up there up to this point right here. See it run? Oh, it's going to be wonderful. These are a real high torque motor. We'll have no problem. I've done already got the spinning wheel. Uh, I got it painted, and it's drying right now. Uh, I, but all this goes on there, but I'm going to have to have a speed control in there. If anybody, uh, this is actually, it's, it's a question I'm going to leave you with. Should I put the speed control on the DC side, 24 volts, or should I put the speed control on the AC side, 115 volts, you know, kind of, I don't want to use no light dimmer switch. Don't even go suggesting that. Leave a comment. Oh, it's got some torque. We're going to be able to spin some yarn with this thing right here.